Hey, this is Nate with Fried Agritech, and today in this video, I am going to use mathematics, yes, there will be math, to explain why stacked systems make zero sense for indoor growing. All right, so jumping right into this. Um, those of you that are familiar with indoor growing know that the most common form is to take uh, basically plant production, uh, planes of plant production, and then stack them one on top of another. So uh, what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna look at that model and we're going to calculate the amount of plant production per square foot of floor space in the warehouse, and then we're gonna compare that against vertical plane production. And the goal here is to explain how we've kind of used some little math tricks to uh, grow a lot more in a lot less space and reduce our labor costs by an awful lot. So let's get started. So a traditional stacked uh, system, if we're looking at it from above, is around uh, four by eight, okay? So four by eight feet. And um, this is typical because this is kind of uh, the, the, the standard size for a lot of different types of materials. Now some people will actually double up on this and they'll go eight by eight, right? So they'll go eight by eight. This is eight feet by eight feet. Now really what we're going to be looking at is the lateral uh, space use, all right? We're not gonna talk about space use this way because we can just stack these things end to end um, from here to there. We'll see if my marker erases here. Um, but really what we wanna do now is we wanna figure out what the space use efficiency of this particular model is. So we have a four by eight square. This is just kind of the standard block. And then we have a four foot aisle way, okay? So this is for, oh, that is not to scale. Four foot aisle way here. So for a total of eight by eight, right? Um, now the reason that this is four feet wide, this aisle way right here, this is the plant production area, this is the aisle way, and the reason it's four feet wide is because we have to get a scissor lift in there. Because as soon as we go above about two uh, growing planes, we have to have a way to get people from the ground up to where the plants are. Now to meet municipal code in almost anywhere you go, and also to be able to allow these scissor lifts to fit down the aisle, we have to have a four foot aisle right here. So four feet um, from here to here, okay? Now um, this makes a total of 64 square feet. We have 32, um, we have 32 square feet of growing space here, over 64 square feet um, down here, right? So this total, is 64 square feet and the growing space is 32. That's a ratio of one half of a square foot of productive space per square foot of warehouse space, right? Now up here things get a little bit better because we've doubled this up. Now there are all sorts of other problems that come with having an eight by eight growing area, right? A lot of that is CO2 depletion in the middle here, access to plants in the middle, the ability to actually monitor pests, to monitor disease, to actually take care of the plants here in the middle of this mass. But uh, we do get a little bit better space use efficiency. So with our four foot aisle, um, we're basically now looking at a total of 64 square feet of growing area out of 96 square feet of, um, actually that's not feet, that's square feet. Right, so 96 square feet of total uh, floor space. So um, I know at this point you're saying, oh Nate, that, you know, this is, uh, this ratio here is 0 0.66, all right? We're a little bit better. We're at two thirds um, of that total floor space is now being used. Well, you're saying, Nate, uh, we're gonna stack these things up on top of each other and that's where the efficiency happens. And I'll say, I will give you that. I will say, okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate four tiers here, okay? So four levels of these stacked beds. And um, the reason I'm doing that is because above four you start to lose money. I haven't seen an operation, I've seen a lot, a lot of operations. Um, and it's very hard to find places where you're not breaking even or losing money above tier four, which means that tier five, tier six, tier seven, tier eight, however many other tiers you can stack in that warehouse space you're probably losing money on them. So you probably shouldn't have them in the first place. So if you're losing money on those tiers, tier four is the one that we are gonna calculate too. Now keep in mind, these tiers are usually about three feet tall. 
all right? So three to four feet tall is kind of the average. That gives you enough room to cultivate your plants, to avoid disease problems, to get good circulation, to get good CO2 penetration from, you know, your, your higher concentrations in your aisleways. You're looking at three to four feet per tier. That gives you usually about two feet to grow the plants, 18 inches to two feet to grow the plants. So um, if we multiply this out by tier, uh, what we're looking at here is by uh, four tiers um, times four, that is 2.0, okay? So we've got uh, basically two tiers there. And um, up here, if we multiply this by four, we end up with something around 2.64. So what this number represents here is the number of square feet of growing area to square feet of warehouse space. So this is 2.4 uh, square feet of growing area to, um, to uh, one foot of warehouse space, right? So that's 2.4 to one. This is 2.0 to one. You might be thinking, oh, that's pretty good. You know, we're able to, by going four tiers on a four by eight setup, we're able to double the amount of production we can do in a warehouse. And uh, that's kind of true until you think about the fact that you start losing money above that first tier. Well, actually not losing money. It's opportunity cost, right? So the first tier is really cheap to harvest, really cheap to maintain. You're just standing there, you're dealing with the stuff like this. Second tier, you're standing on something, most likely, to get access to deal with stuff. So your labor cost goes up by about 25%. So the tier after that, it goes even higher. And when you have to start getting in a scissor lift, it goes up significantly. You're talking about 60% more labor involved with dealing with racks and trays harvesting, planting, monitoring, caring for the plants, spraying those plants, dealing with those plants, period, as soon as you step a foot in a scissor lift. So um, you have to kind of keep that in mind. The opportunity costs of additional tiers are pretty high uh, when you kind of count them out over the course of the year. So that's what we get. Um, this is, you know, when we're dealing with four of these down here, this is four uh, stacks like that, right? That's what we're looking like in our warehouse. So um, you may be thinking, well, I don't see how going vertical actually changes this. So shifting this to a vertical plane. Because now what I'm talking about is instead of thinking about it this way, we're thinking about plant production this way, right? And we're growing plants, you know, on this side, we're growing plants on this side, like this, like that. Well, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to erase. I'm going to put, leave these ratios up, but I am going to erase all of this stuff, and I'm going to go through the math with you of a vertical uh, production plane and explain why it's better and, and prove it to you. So give me one second to erase all this, and we're going to dive into vertical plane production. All right, so the other model that I want to present to you now is vertical plane production. So before we were talking about horizontal plane production. And in horizontal plane production, we can only produce plants on one side, right? We've, this space here is taken up by light and it's hard to get air through here. I could go into a lot of detail explaining why this is not a good idea, but I'm gonna save that for another video where I talk about the management problems with uh, stacked plane production versus vertical plane production. That will be in the next video. I'm not gonna get into that right now. What I do wanna get into right now is explain to you why uh, vertical plane production is more productive per square foot than any other kind of production. So here it goes. So up here we've got our ratios, 2.0 to one for our four by eight racks and 2.6 to one for our eight by eight racks, all right? These are our ratios that we're working, that we're comparing against. Now keep in mind that both of these require the use of scissor lifts they require the use of you know, people going up and down in these pieces of equipment. They require buying the equipment, kind of a pain. Um, so let's think about this. We're gonna take an eight by eight um, rack. So vertical plane, instead of looking at this from overhead now, we're looking at this from the side, all right? So this is a vertical eight by eight rack. It would look something like this if it were with our equipment. So we have 64 square feet of growing area here 
but we have it on this side, and we also have it on this side for a total of 128 square feet of growing area. Now, the way we do it is we hang lights down here, so they're shining on this rack, shining on that rack, and um, we're able to repeat. We operate on six foot centers, okay? We can go down to like three feet if necessary with certain crops, but we typically like to operate on these nice wide corridors that allow us really easy access. When you see these, you realize we could easily take a foot off of it, 18 inches off of it, uh, two feet even off of that, and make it even more productive. So I'm gonna do those numbers for you too. But on a six foot center here, okay, so six feet, from here to here, we have 128 square feet, so six by eight. Uh, so we've got 128 over 48 square feet, okay? That is roughly 2.7. Okay, that is our, our new ratio. And uh, that's 2.7. These racks are about eight, nine feet tall. And a single person standing right here can see the entire thing from the ground. No scissor lifts. Everything is visual confirmation. Everything is I'm standing on the ground. No OSHA problems. Insurance costs are lower. Easy peasy, right? We're standing on the freaking ground. So this is, um, you can see here, we're beating our four tier, uh, basically the four tiers that are profitable, that we actually make a profit on, we're beating this ratio, standing on the ground. And the total height on this is maybe nine feet. So we're like at half the height that we would have to go to with a stacked rack system, at half the height. We could go higher with this if we wanted. We're at half the height, and we've got a bigger number right here. Crazy, right? It's freaking crazy. That's crazy. All right, so um, if we go tighter, say we go down to five feet, okay? All of a sudden, we're talking about, um, you know, 200, uh, 128 uh, square feet over 40, all right? And uh, what is that? That's a little over three. What's the exact number? 3.2, okay? So if we tighten it up by one foot, which we can easily do, all of a sudden now we're in the threes. That's an insane ratio. If we tighten it up further, if we make our aisle widths um, two feet, right? So we've got a two foot wide rack, two feet in the middle. All of a sudden, we're up to 4.0. So then we're at, uh, let's see, uh, eight times four. That's uh, 128. 128 over 32, 4.0. We're quadruple the amount of productive space per, uh, as we are uh, square footage in our warehouse or in our indoor growing facility. So you can see why this is the model that we are interested in. We are not interested in these models. We're not interested in tiny numbers with big costs. No one who's in business should be interested in tiny numbers with big costs. And the reason we're making this video is because I am really, really tired of seeing people build facility after facility after facility based on a faulty mathematical premise. And so if you actually do the math, if you actually analyze the space use, you will find that vertical plane production is the only way to grow indoors. It is the only way that you can reduce costs and grow more in less space. So I have seen farmer after farmer after farmer invest in these tiered systems. They spend a lot of money. They spend a lot of money to build a warehouse out like this. And I've seen a lot of uh, farmers lose a lot of money. This is uh, such a huge potential industry. There is so much opportunity here. And it's just, it makes me incredibly sad to see so many people spending money on tiered systems when we know that tiered systems are based on a faulty initial mathematical premise. So um, we care about farmers. We want to see farmers do better. We want to see farmers make more money. And we want to see indoor growing take off. But until people start embracing just kind of the basic math behind the, the reasons that we grow this way, the reasons that our upstart farmers grow this way, there's going to be no, um, well, I mean, it's going to proceed. The industry will proceed, but uh, it's going to grow. But it's going to be growing at a much slower pace than it could grow.
It's going to be serving fewer communities. There will be fewer farmers that are profitable. And that's really why, um, that's why we're making this video today, is because we want to start to set the record straight on the best ways to grow and the best ways to get the most bang for your buck and make the most money in urban farms, in uh, high density growing environments, and for indoor growing operations. So to wrap everything up, when you're doing floor space calculations, you need to take your productive space, that's the total amount of productive area in your growing environment, and you need to compare that to your floor space, or the number of square feet of warehouse space that you have. It's really, really important to calculate in aisle space, because aisle space is non-productive space, but it still costs you money. And so you have to calculate in your total productive space per square foot of warehouse space, regardless of whether it's, it's a, a grow bed or an aisle way for access. So that's what we did here, and uh, you can see the results. 2 to 1, 2.6 to 1. Down here, the worst ratio we have is about 2.7 to 1. So, um, and it, it, it only improves. So you can do all these calculations yourself. Super, super easy calculations to do. Productive square feet to floor space square feet. This is your ratio of uh, productive square feet to flare square feet of warehouse space. Thanks so much for watching this. I really appreciate you guys tuning in and listening to me rant on occasion. Um, the next video, uh, I am going to cover some of the um, plant management and uh, cultural management aspects of vertical plane production versus stacked tier production. We're gonna get into that and we're gonna explain why stacked tier production is hard on your plants from a CO2 perspective, from a lighting perspective, from a pest perspective, um, and a disease perspective, and, um, and just generally why it, it's much, much harder to make money with stack systems than it is vertical plane systems. Thank you.